your side has got to be Rihanna or Taylor Swift for oh, now. Man. Rihanna, I'm, I'm most definitely with you. I'm absorbing that Rihanna energy. And you know, as far as the collaboration with you and Boss, we could get that done this week. Whoa. The whole about, world just head down. We get and the only reason I'm not going to say tonight is because I got another dinner. I've been celebrating my birthday <laughs> all week, my brother. But I'm just letting you know we're going to do that. Okay, so of course. Of so course. Look, I just want to, I want to ask this. This for everybody who watching my brother watching you i'm a huge fan of you but this is a question i want to ask in ghana mm -hmm. in the last, last 10 years of course with the african mute the explosion i'm gonna describe it as a as an explosion it's always been a, a, amazing but in the last 10 years how would you describe ghana and the african music set changing the most over the last decade thank you over the last decade i can i can boldly say that um ghana music has always contributed to the influence of, of african music you know as we all see it you know globally and ghana music over the last decade has actually influenced the sound in terms of um the afrobeat sound you know nonetheless you know ghana music actually has a pivotal influence when it comes to um the afrobeats of today which would be you know the crossbreed and we call that high life music high life like the high life, life music it's for you know high life like i mean high life like lifestyle yes 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 five so, so that's actually the um the the, the, the heart it's it's, it's it's like to me i've always said this i said this on ebro's show i said this on um on, on sway's show breakfast i told them and they found out that High life music has always been a contributor to the core of the sound that we have today. And that's what has been even before the um, the last 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what I can say. And artists like myself, bridging the gaps, actually bringing in all music of Black origin, which would be tapping into the Jamaican side of as well, or um, to spread it wide, the Caribbean side. And we have my brother, uh, <laughs> Black Sheriff, who's also came through with some mad ass energy, you know, like the high life feeling, but still gives us some hip hop kind of energy. That that's like something that took the world by storm. Of explosion. course, explosion, and explosion, explosion. Yes, it did explosion. So for the past ten years, we have actually been pushing. I mean, the producers here from Ghana have so been doing magic, like Ooh. producing Ooh. some amazing masterpieces like you know we got producers like street beats we have producers like mix master gazi like i love that like, i love that and and, and, not, yeah. not, and and not cutting you off and while you speaking the producers let, let's show some love and highlight who would you name are the three hottest producers right now in west africa right now if you could name three i, who? I definitely Mentioned street beats. That's guy. That's street guy. Beats. Is mad. Why, why? Street beats. Street because, beats. Yeah, he's behind some of the craziest records on you know on the continent. On the continent, if you mean if you mean Ghana, I mean I can base it on Ghana <laughs> now. Well, based without, it on, uh, <clears throat> based it on Ghana for me. Um, definitely DJ Breezy is one of my boys. He's he's done some magic as well. Production. as well. Gazi, what's the guy do. doing crazy? So we're gonna put together all these boys. We're gonna make sure whenever we get the opportunity to sit in a in a, in a place, we bring all these brothers, you know, to Florida and make sure we, we you know we stem it out properly. See, you already. I'm excited. I can't wait. I got another question for you. Just when I think of the club, last time I was out that way, the fashion, the way the pants was. The gear, the nightlife. <laughs> How involved <laughs> when we talk about the nightlife? Okay, if we go out to the hottest club, what's the hottest club right now in Ghana? Right at the hot hottest club has got to be Ace. Ace, <laughs> hey, what it do? Ricky Rose can't wait to come out there. Okay, Ace. Shout out. Uh, yeah. Pablo night. and Ace. But definitely, you know, we've had, we've had, had um, nightlife being held down by some of the creme de la creme which will be twist 
Aswa has been holding it down, you know, from time. And, and Onyx as well will be holding it down from time. So I think these are my favorite spots. And we have some beach fronts as well that you can go to, which will be sometimes you have Alora, you have Polo Beach Club, you know, Ghana parties from Dirty December. It's like bananas here in Ghana. And we can't wait for you to experience that this December because it's been a long time you came here. So, Man. you know, you need to, to experience it for yourself. Man, mm -hmm. I can't wait to come. When we come, we're going to hit the streets. We're going to celebrate. And I need look, 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 this is what I, I want to know this too. How involved is Bel Air in the nightlife as well? Like, do we go everywhere in Ghana and they holding those Bel Air bottles up like we do in Miami? Because when you out here on South Beach, on South Beach in Miami, yeah, we, Club Live, we, we, do. we holling them bottles up. I mean, how uh, do, are the Luke Bel Air bottles I, I, big I, out there? I never run out. Every human being knows that I love Bel Air. That's what I love. We do. You know what I mean? When I go to the clubs out here, it's, 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 people love it. We love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Stone Boy, we're going to keep building, get Definitely. that record together that you need me to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to come right back and we're going to world premiere it and drop it on them right here so they know we about our business and we real with it. Definitely. But look, ah, but look, but look, slap. Go ahead, slap. Slap. You done been you done been you done been to Ghana with me. Let, let's shout out a few places over in Africa. Come on, let's go. Um, you know, Ghana is the shit. Um one time for Cote d'Ivoire. Um Equatorial, Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Gandhi, Mac. You know, um, um shout out to South Africa, of course, of course. Bird, Nairobi. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying? Morocco, Casablanca. Everywhere, man, and we coming. Just Nigeria, know we coming, man. Nigeria, remember Nigeria, remember Kenya. Kenya. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to get the whole country up. Man. Much love, Stone Boy. I love you. Let's get, let's keep building. You going to be bigger next. than ever, baby. You just starting, brother. You just starting. Bless. You just starting. I love you love one time. Toast. Done. No. Respect. <laughs> All right, Ghana. Big respect. Blessings. No flow.